Okay guys, now as most of you know, I usually do horror reviews, but I also like girly things, sometimes. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, let's just not go there. Okay, so this is going to be my all-time favorite girly movie i'm not super into chick flicks but i am into dance flicks and this is the epitome of 80s dance girly goodness girls just want to have fun oh my god i really hope you already know what this movie is because if you don't you're missing out go buy it now trust me it costs about a fiver um i don't know what it would be in the us it's, it's, it's just really cheap all over to be honest it's probably only about a few dollars Basically, it stars Sarah Jessica Parker as the lead, Janie, and her best friend, Liam Stone, is played by Helen Hunt. And they're both in their really, really early roles, and there's quite a lot of famous people in this movie. Um, as you can see on the front here, we also have Shannon Doherty. I think she was 12 when she did this. She plays Jeff's little sister. And the general plot of the movie is uh, Janie and her family move to this new town. And her dad's in the military, so they're moving around all the time. She's really into dance, she's really into gymnastics, but her dad is so overprotective, he doesn't let her do anything. So she moves to this new town uh, with her little brother and the rest of her family, and she gets enrolled in this Catholic school where she meets Lynn, who is like proper outspoken, you know, it's all the 80s cliches, <laughs> all the hairstyles and the clothes and the music, and it's just awesomeness. So basically there's a TV show called Dance TV, I know, original, right? And they are advertising for two new regulars to be joining, so the auditions are this Friday. Now Janie really, really wants to go because Dance TV is her favourite show, she would love to be on it, so would Lynn. And they decide to sneak out and go to the auditions in town. Whilst they're there, we also meet Jeff, who is basically like the cool rebel guy he goes to public school so he's so cool he doesn't have to wear a uniform and he's like super dangerous to both of these girls he's actually just a really nice guy and he's got a bright little sister and he's got this sex obsessed younger looking friend even though they're probably the same age they're all about 16 17. so yeah so he wants to be in dance tv as well because he's kind of got this passion for dance but he doesn't want anyone to know because he's just such a rebel so they both get up and they dance and we also get introduced to the evil, evil bitch of the movie, Natalie. She's a rich, spoiled cow. She wants everything her own way. She doesn't understand why she can't have anything. As far as she's concerned, this dance competition is hers. And of course, her and Janie clash. She also fancies Jeff. And basically, as the movie progresses, it's just watching these two rehearse as they get paired up together. They rehearse, they bump heads with Natalie. Um, Lynn's kind of like the comic relief here and there, you know. We just kind of follow this big group of people all pursuing this dream of wanting to make something of themselves. And of course we get an awesome 80s montage here and there. We get an awesome 80s soundtrack. Uh, they couldn't use Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Want to Have Fun in this because of the copyright issues. So they had Deborah Galley and a couple of other girls. Um, they did their own version. Honestly, I actually prefer it. I think it's a really good version of the song. Um, as of 2007, the Disney Channel owns this movie's rights. I'd, I'd actually kind of like them to remake it. I think it would be a good idea for them to remake this because it is just a sort of generic dance movie. But it had a charm. It had an 80s charm. So it wouldn't be the same, but it's a good, it's a good concept. I'm not going to give away the ending for you, but they basically spend the movie rehearsing for their audition for dance TV. Do they get it? Do they not get it? You're going to have to watch it and find out. But I must admit, it doesn't drag. This, yeah, the pros of this movie is that it doesn't drag. It's very entertaining all the way through. There's great music and stuff to keep you entertained. Awesome dance and gymnastics routines. Um, the cons of this movie, there really aren't any. I can't find any. I tried so I'd have something, but I can't find any cons, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say because it is, you know, it is a dance movie. There's not much plot outside of the fact that they all just want to dance. Um, I must admit, I don't have a favourite line or anything, but I do have a favourite scene. And there is a scene when, uh, like I said, Natalie and Janie keep bumping heads. And Natalie has a birthday party and she um, gives Jeff an invite. 
Jeff uh, gives this invite to his friend because he's going to be his plus one. The girls then take the invite from him. They get 150 photocopies of it made and they hand them out to all these punks in the street. The punks then crash the party, which is all posh and boring. And, you know, an unorchestrated dance number ensues. Chaos, dancing, fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, so girls just want to have fun. You guys need to go check this out. I mean... You can see how much fun they're having on the cover, clearly. And there is... Oh, look how sexy Jeff is. Oh, look at the 80s-ness. Look at it all. 80s-ness. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to end it there. There's nothing else to say. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. <laughs> Bye! Ow. Ow.